Okay, I'm going to make a lattice buckyball. Uh, I'm starting out with, I've already made up a bunch of rings, and there's 12 rings here of 10 magnetic spheres. And they've all been made in the same direction so that the magnetism goes around in a consistent direction. So when you snap them together, you'll see you'll get two spheres contacting from each uh, group. And as you start clicking more uh, on there, you'll see a little hexagon in the middle. That's what you need to look for. If you don't get a hexagon, you're doing it wrong. So I continue to snap more spheres on here, and I'm actually surrounding the central point. And that's not the way it should be. It's there and there. Looking for those hexagons. So there's sort of half of halfway done. And you kind of got to cup it so that it will continue to roll up in the way you want it to roll up. And cup it in there, good. And you start adding the seventh and subsequent ones. You have to kind of cup it a little bit more. Oops. And see that one. I need to snap here before I put another section on. So, looking for those hexagons. If you don't see a hexagon, you close it up here. Probably missing something. Okay, and just for fun, I'm going to put a, a chewy center in this just to make it more interesting a ball that I know happens to fit in there. I originally put that on there backwards so it didn't fit in there. I don't know if you saw that. And as I snap these in, snap that together, then we have our last piece to go in and that has to be turned around because it was going in wrong. And there we go. That's a buckyball. Uh, Large buckyball, magnetic spheres, uh, lattice, so it's not solid. And you can do this without a ball in the middle, but I thought it would be fun to put the ball in the middle. Now, interesting thing out of this, it has 10 rings of, or 12 rings of 10 beads, so that's a total of 120 beads. If you do the math, uh, we've got um, 12 rings, so it's a 12 sided figure, uh, dodecahedron. Uh, but you can also look at if you look at the hexagons that you mentioned before, uh, there are, uh, because you have 120, 120 divided by uh, 6 is, is 20, so there's, there's 20 hexagons in there, so it would be an icosahedron, which would be uh, 20, um, 20 hexagons. But you can also look at it's made out of squares. Uh, and of course there's 4 in a square so 120 divided by 4 is 30 so there's 30 squares stuck together so it's kind of an interesting thing to look at it's fun to handle and it's kind of fun to make so try making one they're fun